Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, I am showing you the last in a series of compacts that I was really just excited to collect uh, because I only had one of this series when I was a kid. Of course, I gave away my entire Polly Pocket collection when I was a teenager and and then just in about uh, February 2021, I decided I'm going to collect them back. And here we are. So um, this is new to me and new to my collection, but I'm excited to show you from the Happen and Hair collection, the 1995 Style and Workout, also known as Polly's Fitness Studio. This is such a cute compact, but also <laughs> all over the place. So without further ado, let's get started. Today's set is the third and final compact in the Happen in Hair series. Um, if you've been following along on my journey, you'll know that I had a hard time finding the yellow compact from this series. And then of all things, I found it complete for about $17. So, um, you know, sometimes luck is on my side, but I got this in a lot and I am really excited to show this to you. This is the Stylin' Workout, also known as Polly's Fitness Studio under the Bluebird name. And this one is the last one that I was able to get, but um, fortunately also complete. So I am happy to show it to you today. Let's go ahead and open it up. So, whoa, <laughs> lots of color going on. So we'll work from top to bottom uh, per usual. But uh, when I opened this up initially, I thought this was broken. I had not seen this compact before. And I mean, this just looks broken to me. Um, it's not, it's not broken. I'll show you what it does in a minute. But upon opening that, I think most people would think this looks broken. So uh, upstairs, this is a really interesting one. Um, it's almost like a bathhouse really interesting choice. Um, bathhouses are a little bit different these days, but um, looks like a bathhouse. I think that's what's going on there. And there is a little cherub statue, some curtains up here, and there is this thing that we'll come back to. Um, there are stairs that fold down, so the stairs click up and then you can fold them down. But underneath, you'll find an area where there is a shower, there is a place to just kind of sit and towel off and then there are some lockers here so this is kind of the change room this appears to be part bathhouse and part gymnastics area <laughs> we'll come down to the bottom um this looks like a stage for doing a dance performance this is a very chaotic uh compact but there's some flowers up there that i presume someone threw up there uh so that you know they would feel like they've done a good job there is what I can only guess is like a, like a kind of like a stairmaster, but just like a stepper so that you can do step aerobics. A boom box. Um, I'll show you this dial in a moment. It's going to control this. Some steps down to what appears to be a cafeteria and a weight room. <laughs> Not exactly where I'd want to eat, but um, beautiful sticker here showing some very lovely tile again just everything seems so chaotic but i do want to point out while that it's not a fish pond it is fish themed again interesting choices going on here more flowers there's a random shrub inside um this appears to be for uh doing like bar gymnastics and then a uh, weightlifting bench here are two seats at a table. The cafeteria looks well stocked and I do appreciate that they've put tiny little stickers in here so that you can see different foods. Just trying to look at what those might be. Looks like salads. <laughs> Honestly, they don't look like much. I'm just gonna say salads and beans. I have no idea what that is. Um, 
a little cash wrap and that's about it. So um, just, uh, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to unpack. Um, but uh, as the other Happen in Hair compacts that were these hearts with the bows on top, there is storage underneath the middle compartment. And inside there, there appears to be, I don't know, looks like some gym mats with some weights. There's a jump rope over there. But I do appreciate that they had a place that you could put the figures to keep them safe. I, I really like that because as you know, I keep all of my figures in metal tins um, just so that they don't get crushed uh, because that's something that can happen. And there's a lot of polys that show up with broken arms for that reason. So that's the um, gist of this, but I am going to show you the functions in a second. Coming over here, let's look at what came with the complete set. So this is Polly. And again, all of the figures in this series came with hair and that's why it's called the Happen in Hair series. But uh, she's got just this really beautiful, almost platinum blonde ponytail. And then I don't know if that colors coming up true on camera for you, but it's a very white blonde and then her hair is very yellow blonde, but she probably just needs purple shampoo. There is a blue headband. She's wearing a lovely pink outfit with blue shoes. So that is Polly. Then it comes with a little brush uh, and this is just Velcro so that you can brush out her hair and it, it actually works pretty well, to be honest. And then the last two pieces are barrettes. So each of these sets came with barrettes and this one appears to have the correct barrettes with it, which are two heart-shaped barrettes. So a yellow set and a pink set. And if you look at these from the other side, there's just pegs in them. So they will snap shut like this. And then you would put it on their hair. So it would hold like that around the hair. Um, in theory on the packaging, they say that you could wear them too, but they, they will not hold more than a few strands of hair. So uh, likely most of them got lost at school that way for most kids. So those are um, the barrettes and the figures. So that's what came with the complete set. So again, you can keep that stuff in here. I keep them in a tin because I'm neurotic, but whatever works for you. I'm gonna put them back in the tin now. <laughs> so let's talk about the features of the set. So um, coming back to this top part. So the stairs fold down. So ultimately you're playing with it at like roughly a 90 degree angle, right? So when you have this seated up, the stairs will sit right on the stage. And then let's talk about this. What is going on here? Okay, it took me and Chris like a really long time to figure this out. We were staring at it. We were looking at the only Polly Pocket website. We were like, okay, um, that's what the picture looks like. I don't think it's broken. Ultimately, I had to look up photos of the package just to verify that I wasn't losing my mind. So bear with me because I'm very nervous to do this. But effectively, there are holes here, if you can see that. So there's one on this purple piece of plastic, uh, magenta, whatever you want to call it. And then there's one here. So the idea is you actually put her hands in there. Oh my gosh, this is one, nerve wracking, and two, how kids break stuff. So bear with me while I get her hooked in here. Okay, I think I did it. I did it. So, um, it's been hard with her hair, but the idea is she just does like flips, <laughs> which I kind of love, but it's just for her to do like gymnastics up here. Um, she has an aerial act. Everyone that's in the bathhouse gets to watch her do her aerial act. So that's what that's for. I honestly, I thought it was broken for sure. So let me rescue her out of here. I'm very gently flexing the plastic to get her out. Okay, the second, let's so click this out of the way. Second action item here is this. So this is again, like for step aerobics. So when you rotate this dial, it's a really interesting mechanism because it will actually do the step. So if I rotate it, she goes up and back down and flattens out. See how she flattens out. She's on an angle, she's on an angle. 
flattens out. So <laughs> she can stand here and do a whole aerobics class. I kind of love that. Um, but that's the second feature. And the thing that's kind of annoying is it for this to close, you have to have it fully, like all the way forward for it to go shut. So another way that it could be easy to break. The last thing that she can hook into is here. So there are handles on the side of this, if you can see that there. So same idea, you would very gently flex the plastic and clip her in and then she can flip around here if she wants to. Um, so that's, that's the features of the set. Um, I get that there's a lot of like gyms that have swimming pools. Like this is like a fitness facility. This would be more like a rec center where you can take different classes and maybe they do have a cafeteria, but it just feels so chaotic <laughs> at the same time. There's so much color, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's like almost an assault on the senses, the um, colors that they've chosen for this because they're all really bright. They're not like that fully muted pastel because they've put this pop of magenta in there. There's like dark green. Um, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot to take in. And then having <laughs> this fancy tile just seems really out of place to me. And having a weight room right next to a cafeteria, I mean, that just like wouldn't smell good, but, um, you know, sometimes I just have to turn off the logical part of my brain when I'm playing with toys and I have a hard time doing that. But <laughs> It's really interesting. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments. I will say though, I was thrilled to know that it isn't broken and that that is indeed what it's there for and that it's functioning properly. But um, let me know in the comments, what's your favorite part of this set? It's a really interesting one, but um, also has a lot of neat things going on. So let me know in the comments, what's your favorite part of the 1995 style and workout? So this is cute. It's again, kind of chaotic. It's just, it's really all over the place and I do love it and I'm glad I have it, but man, it just, there's a lot going on. And I, again, I get that it could be more of like a recreation center, but it's, it's a lot. So my favorite part of this, I will say is probably the step aerobics thing. I, I think that's so hilarious the idea that she's just on this stage doing step aerobics um, while people are eating in the cafeteria and doing weights next to her. Um, again, you kind of have to put your logical brain aside sometimes when you're looking at these toys because they try to fit a lot in. That wouldn't necessarily make sense in real life. Um, but I also kind of love that it's weird and I do love that they somehow integrated fish into it. Um, you know, they just love those fish stickers. So again, let me know in the comments, what was your favorite part of this set? Well, friends, we are early close to our one year anniversary. I am so excited to celebrate that with you. So stay tuned for all the exciting stuff we're gonna be doing over the next month. But if you are on social media, please come follow along on social media. I am on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys, you'll find me there. That's the best place to connect with me outside of YouTube. I also will say if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do that. It really does help out the channel so much. Um, it's free and you can hit that little bell to get notified when I have new videos coming out. I've been trying to pop onto the premieres a bit more so that I can chat with some of you. Um, but please, please, please hit the subscribe button. All right, the camera died there. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Um, but as I was saying, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you all being here. I can't wait to share all of the one year anniversary stuff with you. But as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.